Hello everybody, my name is Joshua Winkins and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to show you how to properly install plugins for Final Cut Pro. Now the two most popular websites when it comes to finding plugins for Final Cut Pro is Cellify, uh, Cellify or Pixel Film Studios are the two most popular places when it comes to finding good plugins for Final Cut Pro. So go ahead and just type this into Google Chrome or Safari, go ahead and just click enter and then go ahead and head over to his website. He's one of the most popular people when it comes to a good place to find LUTs, uh, LUTs, transitions, a whole bunch of different plugins for Final Cut Pro. As you can see here, he's a whole bunch of different uh, effects you can use for Final Cut Pro. Let's go ahead and scroll all the way down. Actually, I'll go ahead and scroll up and then I'll go to Final Cut Pro Transitions. Let's go ahead and scroll all the way down until we find 3D Lumafade. Go ahead, click Add to Cart. Then we're going to go ahead and go all the way up, click uh, click Checkout. And then we're going to go ahead and just a generic checkout page. As you can see, the item, the quantity, the price. I just This one's for free. This one's free. Some of the other ones actually cost money. So enter your credit card information if it does cost money. Pretty obvious there. So go ahead and just say agree to terms and conditions. And then I'm going to go ahead and just blur this information out. This is just email and state. Obviously not going to go ahead. The state's not that important, but I'm obviously not going to show you uh, my email. So I went ahead and just entered my email. Go ahead and press continue. And then as you can see here, it sent the link, download link to my email. Let's go ahead and head over to my email. Just head over to uh, Gmail. And then I'll go ahead and head over to here. It says here, thank you, download product. Now if you didn't hear, my phone also went off because of the notification from Gmail. Go ahead and just press, click on download product. Then we're gonna go ahead and download it here too. Then once it's all downloaded, go ahead and just drag it onto uh, your desktop. It's a zip folder. Go ahead and just unzip uh, the folder. Then what you wanna go ahead and do is, right here, go to the go tab in your finders. Whatever, whatever you call it, finder section, your file section for your uh, Apple computer. Click on home, go to right here, go to movies, open up movies, and then motions template. If you do not have a motions template folder, you need to go ahead and create a motions template folder. Make sure it's all spelled right with the, the appropriate capital letters. And then go ahead and see right here, name and extension. Make sure it says motion templates dot localized. It has to have that dot localized or else this whole thing is not going to work. Now that you've created the motions template folder, go ahead and open it and then create a transitions uh, folder, a titles folder, an effects folder, because obviously these aren't gonna be here. You have to create them yourselves. Make sure they're all, they're all spelled right and do the same thing with all three of the folders. Make sure you uh, the name of the folder and then the dot localized. You, it needs to be dot localized or else it's not going to work. Let's go ahead and open up the transitions folder. Then after this thing is unzipped, go ahead and drag the folder into the transitions folder. As you can see, it already says 3D Lumafade. You can see I already did it. Go ahead, exit out of the Finder. I don't know what you call the Finders app. I'm not even sure what the. Go ahead and correct me. I'm not correct me down below. I'm not sure what, what we technically call that. The file section. But let's go ahead and you have if Final Cut Pro is open, go ahead and just exit out of Final Cut Pro. Restart Final Cut Pro. Open up Final Cut Pro. I think I just said Final Cut Pro four different times, but you get the picture. You have to restart it or else it's not going to register. As you can see here, go to the Transitions tab. Go ahead and you can see right here, 3D Lumafade. The transition has been has been um, successfully imported into Final Cut Pro and now you can just keep repeating that step for all your different, so you can see right here, for all of your different effects, titles, or transitions. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Anyways guys, hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found this video somewhat helpful and somewhat informative. Hopefully you learned a lot. And if there are still topics that you want to learn a lot more about, highly encourage you to go ahead and go down in the comment section below and I can try to answer some of your questions. Before you go ahead and leave the video, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's greatly appreciated. And I'm giving away this Google Home Mini for free once I reach 1,000. 
subscribers. Anyways, guys, have a great day. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys in the next one. Peace.